Welcome back designers. Tonight we're going to take a few minutes and look at the width tool. Now the width tool is pretty easy to use. I haven't had a lot of call for it in many of the designs that I do, but when I do need it, it just works. It's great. I can take lines from really, really thin up to really, really thick. It really just depends on what your needs are. You can do this with single strokes. You can do it with shapes. There's a lot of different ways that you can utilize this tool. I'm going to show you one example, just give you the basic functionality of how the tool works. Then it's up to you to come up with some creative ideas on how to use this in your workflow. Before we hop over to Illustrator, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell. I do new tutorials right now daily until the 19th of December, 2019. After that, I'll be switching to weekly content. And I'm also looking at into the new year, getting into some new content, including freelancer tips, invoicing, how to work with customers, more than just software related stuff. So I hope you stick around. All right, let's get into Illustrator and get to work. Okay, here we are inside of Adobe Illustrator. So I went ahead and created a fishbowl with some really flat looking vegetation in it. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight everything because I've still got a lot of stroke on this. And I'm gonna deselect by holding down shift, just my three pieces of vegetation that we're gonna work on with the width tool. And I'm gonna hit command two on my keyboard and that's gonna lock everything out. So now I know I'm only working on just those three items. Everything else can't be selected. So we've got that done. Now I'm gonna take our first one, just click on it. I'm gonna go shift W and that's our keyboard shortcut for the width tool. Now that I've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and just click on a couple of spots here. Now for this one, I only want one right here and I'm gonna click on it and then drag out now, as you can see, now I've got this kind of nice wide width piece to this leaf. I'm going to click on the top anchor point and just let go. And then I can drag this handle right into the center. So there we've got our first one done. So the next one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I actually want to expand this up just a little bit more. Give me some more room to work with. So that's just with my direct selection tool or the A keyboard shortcut. Now I'm going to go shift W again, get back to my width tool. And for this one, let's see, I'm going to go right about here and I'm going to bring it in and then I'm going to come up a little bit. I'm going to click and drag out and then I'm going to click on the top anchor and again, drag these ones back into the center and then let's do our bottom anchor and we'll pull that one out just a little closer to there. So again, grab my direct selection or my selection tool and just clicking out. So there we have a little bit different leaf on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my direct selection tool and just nudge this one up again, just a little bit. Select our line, shift W for our direct selection tool. Now with this one, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna zoom in just a bit so I can see it a little more. And I'm gonna grab the top one. I'm gonna pull it right in. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna add an anchor there. But now I'm going to grab my Alt key and I'm going to pull this one out. And we're going to do another one right down here. And then I'm going to grab my Alt key and I'm going to pull just this one in and this one out. And now we've got a nice little wavy guy there. So as you can see, pretty simple to use. There's really not a lot of functionality to this. There's no real special features. It's just basically click where you wanna make things wider or smaller and just work your way around to find the design that you're looking for. Okay, designers, that's it for this one. Nice and quick, simple. I'm gonna get back to work and I hope to see you in the next video. It's a quick one tonight. And it wasn't that I, I mean, I just, that's all it took. It wasn't a lot to this tool. So we have a few of them are gonna be coming up. It's These are pretty simple tools we're getting into now, so. Wait till the tutorials after the new year. You're gonna love those ones. I'm gonna show you how I do some of the stuff that I do on Instagram.